Oh, what you got first? Well, I was going to bring up before we switch. Did we want to talk it. about any potential signings we want to make on the offensive line? So, yeah, what you got, man? Well, I think the only guy out there that would make sense, we're talking about offensive tackle because Morgan Moses mm-hmm. already got signed. And this is, I mean, if you look up a bunch of these NFL and he publications. And he signed it? Jets. Oh, yeah, what, okay. I think it was like $3 million. Like, yeah. it's one of those things where you're like, damn, mm-hmm. dude, damn. Yep. One-year deal, $3 million. Basically, we gave you Trey. Yeah. It would have been nice. Mm-hmm. The only guy left is probably Mitchell Schwartz. Yeah. That people are talking about. And actually, like Bleacher Report, a bunch yeah. of these NFL sites, they're they're saying, what are the best landing spots for Mitchell Schwartz? Yeah. They have us in like the top two or three in all of these. Always. Always. I mean, healthy Mitchell Schwartz, he'd be the best offensive line we have right now if he was healthy. Problem is, he's coming off of a back injury. That With the surgery? Yeah. Like, that just scares me. Now- if you're Kevin Cobra, you might not be as scared, or you might say the thought of this guy being the starter for you know the duration scares you more. That could be the case also. I don't know. They haven't made the move yet. Yeah. I wonder how much he'd be going for. Because a you know, a he's year or two ago. Back. Yeah. A year or two ago, people were saying he's the best offensive Absolutely. tackle in the league. Yeah. But now with the surgery, does his market go down that much? I mean, he yes. hasn't signed yet. Yes. Now it is it now is it that Morgan yeah. Moses range? Two or three million? I, I mean, realistically i could see it just because the injury is like you're coming off a back injury and it was a late year it was late in the year when you decided to have the surgery like remember he didn't have the surgery during the playoffs yeah, February, thought, right? yeah, it was February because he thought that it was just gonna you know he could just rehab it and, and it would get better but it never did so you had late back surgery that's for me i'm just like i don't want to deal with that i, I don't I don't, and if you're other teams, you don't want to pay too much for that that first year back from the back surgery. You wait. You want to see, yo, are you really healthy? Are you going to return back to form? So I think he signs a one year, anywhere three, five, seven is probably high end for him right now. And then from there, he proves that he's back healthy. Then he breaks the bank again. So it's a tough spot where it is, man. Because you could technically just like in a way sign him on, mm-hmm. and if it's not working, then just cut him. Yeah. That doesn't feel like good business, though. It's not. It's just not good business. It's not at all, man. Because it doesn't hurt to see what he has. If he's healthy, like I said, he will, for a fact, be the best offensive lineman we have. Like, it won't even be a debate. Like, he's he's like that. What's his time? Is he looking to play week one? I don't know. I haven't followed his, like, situation to that extent. That's what I'm wondering. Like, why wouldn't he be healthy at this point, then? Right. Well, I think he's still recovering. That's the thing. He's still recovering from it. Okay. Like, yeah, back surgery. That's what I'm saying. Like, back surgery is not like you just have a clean up. Oh, he's good in a couple weeks. Nah. I mean, think Zach still isn't even 100% back just yet. And Zach tore his ACL in the second quarter of the first game of the season. And I'm just like, I, I, I'm, I'm not confident with that, man. I'm not. Where just he might not even play for us this year is what you mean? Or like we not, sign him. No, no, he will probably play, but it wouldn't be early. That's my concern. Okay. Like, is it a, I got to wait till week five to get him gotcha. back out there? So it's like, he's still going to play 11 games, but I'm like, those first five games, like, that that's significant. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So maybe it is just better or, to or wait. Does it, or does it become, he's available at the beginning of the season, but because the surgery was this year, it's a lingering thing. You know, he's in and out of the lineup or his, he's in the lineup, but he's not healthy. And it looks like that. If a back tightens up, if a back isn't healthy, you look stiff. You can't move. And as a tackle, you got to be able to move. You have to be able to bend. You got to be able to take on that, that power from a bull rush. Those are the things where I think that he would struggle with if he's not completely healthy. And that's my biggest concern with him. But now this is the thing that we talked about earlier. All those concerns. So if you don't sign him, does that mean that you had this great level of confidence in Zach? No. It just means that the guy that we were looking at, he had a little bit more question marks about him, right? But if it was healthy Mitchell Schwartz, we're all sitting here saying that we would do what? We would, for a fact, take healthy Mitchell Schwartz. Then what about Morgan Moses, though? That's the other thing, right? I'm with you on that. I'm with you. It makes you wonder. Yeah. But then it also makes you wonder also, okay, if the Steelers were in the mix, which I'm probably sure they were. Did he just simply say he wanted to go to New York instead of there? That's also realistic. Because we always assume... Did he even make a visit with us, though? That's a, we probably remember. would have heard about that. I don't that. remember. I think he... No, did he? No, I don't think he did. I think it was just always just the reports of... Just rumors. Yes. Steelers need an offensive tackle. Mm-hmm. This would be a good fit. Because, we, yeah, we never heard of yeah. anything. He made a visit with the Jets, I think, mm-hmm. a week or two ago. And 
everyone thought he was for sure signing with the Jazz, but then all of a sudden that lingered for a while. It was almost yeah. like the Albo and Aueva thing. Then he eventually did sign with them. I don't know. A little, little disappointed we didn't get him. It yeah. would have been nice because we were all amped about that we whenever definitely we were, signed man. Trey Turner. It's Heck like, who yeah, do we, we sign were, next? Man. It's like, let's just let's just bulk up the O line. Let's Heck get Moses yeah. too. It would have been perfect. We said we signed for him. Like, yeah, why not? Yeah. So Schwartz, maybe keep an eye on throughout the regular yeah. season. I definitely would. If, if, he, if, if our offensive line is yeah. struggling like that. True. Because, yeah, we keep forgetting. I mean, Banner, he's still coming back from the knee injury. Yeah, he's not even 100% just yet. So, yeah. Oh, he's got to be close with yeah, the timeline yeah, I mean, right yeah, now. Yeah, absolutely. Because what is it? It's, with ACLs, it's close to nine, ten months. It depends. Some people, this... like AP, it's like, holy yeah. hell. <laughs> you know, it's six months. True. Or you even think about Devin Bush, right? Terrell Suggs had a crazy yeah. recovery. That's, yeah. Was it like he, five months? <laughs> yeah, that thing was nuts, man. Was, I forget if it was ACL he or was Achilles. Achilles but, yeah. He was hooping, yeah. He was Achilles off of hooping. <laughs> he came back, you're like, yeah. what the And hell? it was a beast, too. It wasn't yeah. he came back and suck. Like, it was dominant, Yeah, man. he's like KD, man. Heck yeah. KD coming off this Achilles, it doesn't look like he lost a no. step, really. 